Scorpios, I am back. Peace, love, and light to you guys. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot, and I am back to bring you guys another general reading. Hope you guys are doing well. Peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. So this time, I am going to use my Kipper deck. We're going to tap in. We're going to see what's going on, Scorpios. All right. If you are a cross watcher, switch the roles as necessary, okay? All right, guys. So let's get this started. Peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have not already subscribed, come join the Scorpius Fingers. All right, Scorpios, let's get into this message. All right, guys. Holy Spirit, I call upon you right now to join me in this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please protect my energy as I channel the messages. Remove any negative energies away from my space my channel anybody that's coming towards my channel or myself with negative energies demonic forces witchcraft i bind it back into their energy a thousand fold in jesus name amen and amen all right guys so let's see what's going on with you guys holy spirit what is the message tap me into scorpio's energy please open up the spiritual realm all right bottom of the deck we have unexpected income number 27 some of you guys can be 27 years old you could have been born on October 27th, possibly November the 9th, but there is something unexpected coming towards you. It can be in, in, you know, a form of money. This can be a surprise visit, a pop-up, something that's going to be unexpected. So let's see here. Ooh. Holy Spirit, what is the message for Scorpio? What is the message for Scorpio? Okay, so we have Wealthy Man, the number 13. Some of you guys could have been born on the 4th or the 13th. Something unexpected can come from like someone who's possibly like a banker or someone who's in a professional setting. We have the number 16, thoughts. Wow, so this card keeps coming out, thoughts. Someone is thinking about you guys very heavily. We have the number 19, which is coffin, okay? All right, so we're going to start with those three. 36 is on the back, distant horizon. So something is something here you cannot see. Or someone is wanting to anchor themselves to you. Someone could be at a distance from you as well. Or there's something that you don't see that's coming that's far away. All right. So with thoughts, number 16, some of you guys could have been born on November the 7th, possibly November 16th, the 13th or the 4th. You could have been born on the 19th or the 10th. Okay. All right. So with coffin, this gives me Scorpio energy. So something has came to an end. There's a death and a rebirth going on. Someone here is thinking about you heavily with the thoughts card. You're on someone's mind, male or female. This could be a wealthy person, someone who's like a business owner, a banker, a mortgage broker, someone who's in a professional setting. But I did see unexpected income. So something is going to be unexpected. Hmm. Someone could be going through a transformation period. Someone who's thinking about you. Now, wealthy man doesn't always mean someone who has money. This can be someone who's very classy, a man of presence, of class, someone who wears a lot of suits, someone who may be like a business owner or CEO, someone who's thinking about you. Maybe things came to an end with a contract or something. Now, someone could be wealthy in spirit, mind, body, and soul, okay? All right, guys, so let's get into this energy. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what cards I'm going to use here. <clears throat> All right, Scorpios, let's get into this energy. All right, tell me about wealthy man for Scorpio. Tell me about wealthy man. Or Scorpio, what is this about spirit? Please open up the spiritual portal. What is it that Scorpios are needing to know? All right, one more shuffle. Tell me about wealthy man for Scorpio. What is it that Scorpios are needing to know? Tell us about wealthy man, Holy Spirit. Tell us about wealthy man. What does this mean for Scorpio? Oh, 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 too many cars, spirit. Too many. Tell us about wealthy man. All right. All right. So we have Page of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. Tell me about thoughts. You may not be in communication with this person. All right, so we have Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands, both in the reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me about Coffin for Scorpio. Tell 
So with that wealthy man, I'm getting here that you may not be speaking to this person right now. You may feel like this person is not concerned about your well-being. You may feel like this person is very biased when it comes to things. All right, so we have the seven of wands. Wow, so you guys are protecting your energy from someone that you ended a relationship with. Three of pentacles. I'm getting this could be a job situation. Maybe you're working on a project. Hmm. But let me go back to wealthy man. I feel like this is whoever this person is. This is a divine masculine. This is someone you're not talking to right now. You may feel like this person doesn't care about your feelings, thoughts. Seem like this person is very unconcerned about others. Things may be in delay. They may be delayed in communication. With the thoughts, I feel like this person is thinking about you. Someone is thinking about returning back to you with the Eight of Cups in reverse. With the Three of Wands. Um, I'm just getting you turn your back on someone. You're protecting your energy. Things that came to an end between you and this person. This could be a career, a job, or a personal situation. Someone is thinking about you and possibly wants to come back to you after a period of you guys not talking. Um, maybe this person has turned their back against you in some type of way and now you're protecting yourself after things have ended this person could be at a distance from you this was someone that you consider uh very important in your life with official person someone has wanted to anchor themselves to you wow so we have the three of pentacles and the full card here so someone has wanted to take a new leap of faith someone is wanting to um have a new beginning with you work things out someone that you're not talking to right now you're in this energy of the nine of pentacles and the hangman you release them let go and you feel like you're better off single you may be enjoying the fruits of your own labor at this current moment you're independent stable on your own ten of cups and the stars someone could be praying hoping and wishing that you forgive them so you guys can come back together this may be a relationship a marriage or something that made you very happy okay someone is wanting peace balance forgiveness here someone feels like they lost an opportunity with you Someone is feeling very anxious, wanted to talk. There's a lot of guilt, remorse, and regret here. And this also is someone who's wanted to bring you an offer because they're still in love with you. Yeah. Whoever this person is, they want to come back to you. They want to change their play ways. Feel like this person has realized some things. They had a spiritual awakening that they want to release the burdens. Any type of emotional baggage here. Something has came to the light. We have the Empress in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. This person is moving very slowly. Possibly something dealing with a mother figure. This could be a baby mother or a divine, a feminine, not so much divine, a feminine energy that may be holding them back. This person is still needed to work on themselves, get their money, their stability together. But the Knight of Pentacles is someone that is very reliable. They take their time. They don't rush anything. But someone here is it's like, I don't know if this is a mother figure that's holding someone back, a baby mother or someone who's in this low vibrational empress energy, someone who's codependent. This person is trying to figure out a way to come towards you, possibly because they're obsessed with you, okay? They're wanting to come back together, reconcile, hang out, celebrate, re reunite some type of way so you guys can have a solid commitment. Someone is wanting to drop their guards or wanting you to drop their guards. Drop your guards, okay? Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting this person could be at a distance from you. This is someone you had very important in your life. You consider them an official person. This could be a husband, wife, or someone of importance. We have despair and thieves. Someone is having some guilt, remorse, and regret here. They have a lot of despair. Someone could be crying. So you may feel like this person stole something away from you. Your heart, your innocence. Hmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. But yeah, something came to an end. And I feel like you guys are in your own little bubble right now. You're protecting your energy from something or someone. You're in this energy of protecting yourselves. Maybe this person turned their back on you and now they're wanting to come back. But now you're already in this energy like, hey, things have ended. Now I got to protect my energy, you know? Wow. All right, Scorpios, this is what I have for you. Peace, love, and light. I'm going to end it right there. Of course, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The signs that I see here, I do see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly um, a Libra or maybe a Pisces, okay, that you could be dealing with or that's somewhere within your chart. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me in this reading. Peace, love, and light to you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.